welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a haul and try on of some stuff I got from City Chic. So if you want to see what I got and how it looks, then just keep watching. So I recently went on to try to find some new companies to purchase from for plus size and I found City Chic online so I have never purchased from them. This is the first time because they looked really cute. They also had a good deal going on so I couldn't pass it up. I want to say it was like buy, like get so much percentage off a lot of them. I can't remember exactly. But I wanted to start off with talking about the shipping. I tend to ignore this part and not say it much just because I shop from the same places. But since this is the first time I've bought from them, um, I'm just checking my emails. And it looks like I placed the order on Wednesday and I got this on Saturday. Like that's the fastest shipping I've seen. That's not Amazon. <laughs> I also did not purchase fast shipping or anything. That's just how it came originally. And then I wanted to mention this because I thought it was interesting. So I finally got a clothes rack. It's right next to me. You can't see it. You'll, you'll see it in the try on part. Um, but I actually wanted to leave one in the packaging to show you what it came like because I thought it was pretty interesting and nice. I think it's nice the way it came because it has this cardboard in it and I think it's to help so it doesn't wrinkle as bad. So let me just take this out so I can show you. So all of the items I got except for one came like this. So it's got just a cardboard piece in it to help keep its structure, or not structure, but I'm assuming it's for wrinkling, which I think is really nice because a lot of times I'll get stuff and it's extremely wrinkled. And I don't have an iron at home. And I'm too lazy even if I did. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to start off with pants because if I'm being honest with you, I'm in my pajama pants right now and I don't really want you to have to witness that. <laughs> so we're going to start off with pants. So since this is my first time trying them, I didn't necessarily know what sizing to go off of. However, their website did have a size next to the like 1X, 2X, etc. So they all kind of said like online at least. I'm looking at the tag of the first item and it doesn't actually say it on here, but on their website it said 24 slash XXL. So that's what I went with. So the sizing is different than others because a 24 in other places would never be a 2X, <laughs> but it is here. So these are literally called Breezy Pant in Black. They are 4830. Like I said, I got a 2XL, which is their 24, and it's just these nice black pants which it's gonna be hard to show you here but they have little like extra fabric and the way that they lay is really nice at least on the picture and that's where they get their breezy name um, it does have this little tie in the front and then the back portion is elastic it's stretchy Ooh, just holding them up in these lights they are see-through I don't know how bad you can see it, and I'm wondering if it's just my lighting, but they are very baggy and loose, which I like. Um, a lot of these clothes are kind of on the dressier side that I got, because while there is still a pandemic going around and some a lot of people are out of a job or working from home, I am neither. I'm fortunate to still have a job, and I actually still have to go into my job. So I needed some nicer clothes. I don't really dress up much, and I really should. Oh, that's interesting. Nope, never mind. Both sides are see-through. That one side looked less see-through, but they're both see-through. So, let's go ahead and try these pants on. Okay, so this is the first item. Hopefully, you can see it. But these are the pants. Um, they fit pretty nicely now that they're on. I will tell you, it took a little bit to kind of finagle them, but they fit fine. Um, there's not a whole lot of space, but I can still grab them. So it has a little tie here, and then I don't know if it's going to show on camera because it's black, but they have this like detail where technically it's all open, but it flows like that's how it gets its breezy look. So it comes up here, and then technically, you know, if you get hot. <laughs> But I don't know, they're really comfortable and they're definitely very flowy. 
I honestly though would be worried about chub rub because the crotch is actually like this far off of my crotch. So that's kind of right in the area where chub rub happens. So that might be a little bit of an issue unless I can get them up higher. Yeah, I can get them up higher than like <laughs> they're sitting really high. Um, so then it kind of prevents that part from happening, but then they are a lot shorter. I don't know if you can even see that. I can't get you backed up further enough, but yeah, I actually really like these and I definitely think I'll keep them. The only thing I wish they had was pockets, but I guess they can't have pockets if they have this feature. Okay. The next item is called the Lace Angel Top in Emerald. Again, a 2X with L, which is their 24. This one retails for a 3430. Why did I say it like that? Anyways, it's this nice pretty emerald shirt. This actually really reminded me of the navy shirt that I just got not that long ago. Um, I want to say it was a couple videos ago from, was it Maurice's? Ooh. I think it was Maurice's. Um, but this is actually an emerald color. So it's just this really pretty lace detail on top with no sleeves and then it's kind of got like a ruffle on the sleeve. And then the back is just plain, it just has a keyhole opening. I hope this doesn't feel suffocating. I don't like things that tight to my neck. But yeah, it's a really nice soft material. Definitely looks see-through as well. I guess we'll find out. I like that the lace kind of comes off as like a little fringe at the bottom. That's kind of cute. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this item. Okay, so this is the next shirt. I definitely don't like it with these pants. There's too much flowiness going on. Um, so I feel like with these pants, you definitely would need like a more tighter shirt for them to look good. But anyways, this is the next top. So I actually really like this. It's not too close to my neck to make me feel like I'm suffocating. Um, the back is pretty simple, but I love the lace detail. But honestly though, I do actually really like this top. I definitely think it's very like business casual. Okay, the next item is called a cowl zebra cami in cream. This is also 2X, which is the 24. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got everything in that. Um, this one retails for a 31.50. And it is just a cami or spaghetti strap, I guess, depending on where you are. And then it is in a zebra print, but the whole thing is like a cream with a metallic finish almost. Um, and then, like it said, it has the cowl feature in the front, which is hard to see if it's not actually on you. So this material feels really soft too. So let's go ahead and try this item on. Okay, so this is the next shirt uh it definitely is loose and flowy which i'm a fan of it's just i feel like these pants are throwing everything off for me because i'm so used to having tight pants and a loose shirt um i definitely need to adjust these straps because i feel like it's it's supposed to be a cowl but it's just too much <laughs> like if you were to actually come closer you could easily see down there. So that definitely needs to be tightened. Although it is pretty loose here as well and the cowl really should just be up here. So I'm not sure if this just doesn't fit me right because it is fairly loose. And it is kind of see-through. I can definitely see where my pants are sitting um, but because of the dub double layer of the cowl you can't see my bra behind this. I don't know. I think I'm going to try to adjust the straps later and maybe give this a shot. If not, I might have to take it back just because it being so loose here is really bugging me. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, but let's try the next item. Okay, the next top is literally called Sexy Zip Top in Fern. Again, 24 2XL. Uh, this one is $31.50. So it is just this nice... They call it a fern color. I'm thinking it's more like a greenish gray color, honestly. Um, but it's just this sleeveless top that has the zipper in the front, which is adjustable according to how much cleavage you want to show, hence the sexy name. Um, but it's actually pretty similar to the material of the first 
two products that I showed you. I'm not sure what it's called. It's 100% polyester. Tell me why this tag is so long and they had to four times put 100% polyester. That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and try this shirt on. Okay, so this is the next item. So it is the one with the zipper. Um, so the zipper actually goes all the way to up here up here, <laughs> I realize you probably couldn't see that that far away. Um, and then obviously you can zip it all the way down there. It's a little provocative, so you could, you know, be more conservative and zip it up here. That is constricting on the boobs, at least for me in this size. So I feel like happy medium, right? Uh, so it is a very plain shirt, minus the zipper. Uh, the back is pretty plain. Nothing special to it. I do like this though because I feel like this is a good shirt that you could pair it with more colorful or fun pants and it would kind of spice it up more. Other than that, it's very plain and simple, but it is really nice. I feel like the quality is really nice so far that I have noticed that. The quality with all of these are really, really nice. Yeah, it's not much else to say. It's, it's a plain shirt with a zipper, but it is really nice. I do really like it. And you know, when you want to be scandalous, right? Wear a cute bra, not this. So let's move on. The next shirt is a natural sleeve top in oatmeal. Um, again, 24 2XL. This one is 4830. Um, so this one is interesting. So it is this oatmeal color, as they said. It feels like linen. I don't actually know what it is though. Oh, wow, go me. 55% linen and 45% viscose viscose i don't know how to say that oh i get it it's four times because it's in different languages apparently polyester is the same in every language um so it's just this oatmeal colored shirt um with huge huge sleeves um and then it has this detail this like bar detail in the back which is cute but the weird thing is is like it's buttoned on so if the button flips the wrong way it doesn't look right so that's kind of a weird detail the fact that it's but buttoned on but I don't know maybe it looks cute without it or with it I, I guess we're gonna find out so let's try this one on okay so this is the next item this on top of the pants just makes me feel like a bag of potatoes am I right like I know it's the color is the reason I'm thinking bag of potatoes but I just feel like a bag of potatoes. <laughs> um, I don't like where the sleeve comes up to. It comes up to about half of my body, so when my arms are down, my arms are touching my skin, which does, doesn't really bug me except for in the summer, which these are supposed to be more summer-ish clothes. So this would get really hot outside. Like I'm hot from changing so many times, and so this is really disgusting feeling. Um, I mean, it's a nice top. It is comfortable. The arms are really, really huge. But I just feel like I'm wearing a bag of potatoes. I'm wearing a bag of potatoes. I am a bag of potatoes. Even tight pants, I feel like couldn't help how huge this is. Um, obviously, I could go in a size down. I just don't know if that would help the, the potato feeling. Because <laughs> it is like not tight here but it feels like it fits this section comfortably so I do like the back I mean the upper half of the back this is gonna have to be a no for me I just feel like a bag of potatoes so <laughs> this one's gonna be a no okay so the next item is called the daydreams top in guava uh, again 24 2xl and this is 4130 so it comes in this really pretty guava shade and I am kind of concerned about how big this opening is, if it's gonna fit right. But it has these sleeves that are not really full sleeves. And then it does kind of cinch down here at the bottom and it has a cute little tie on it as well. I definitely love this color. I don't know, it's just really pretty. It almost feels like it could transition into fall really nicely since it is kind of like a deeper pink tone but yeah let's go ahead and try this one okay so this is the next shirt uh, I didn't realize because I forgot from buying this that this is asymmetrical so it's shorter on the side and longer on this side let's pop you higher I feel like you weren't sitting in a good spot 
So it does have this tie that has an, a lot of extra fabric. It is pretty long, which is nice. That looks funny, whatever. Um, it's pretty plain in the back. Just has the symmetrical shape again. Uh, I was worried about this opening, but the way it sits is actually pretty decent with my boobs. I feel like it could be slightly tighter, but I could actually just probably tie this tight here and it help hold this down. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be because I like the color, but I just feel like the way it's sitting on my body, I don't feel like it's flattering. I don't know. Maybe I'll look back at this video and this footage and think it looks flattering, but right now, I just don't think it looks flattering on me. As of now, this is going to be a pass, but I might keep it if I look back at the footage and think it looks okay. So, yeah. This one's going to have to be a no for me. Alright, the next shirt is called the Elegant Wrap Top in Current. Current, though. It's like spelled different. Uh, again, 24 2XL, and this is $59. Whoa, that's expensive. It is this really, really pretty red. Um, that is... It's got like a shirt underneath and then like a thin material on top and the lace, not lace, why do I say that? The arm is fully see-through, it's very sheer fabric. Um, and then it's got the like cinching at the waist. This is really cute. Oh, and it also has a tie on it as well. So let's go ahead and try this item out and it is really whiting me out. Let's put that down. Let's go try it on. Okay, so. This is the next item. This is really cute. I'll tell you it was kind of hard to get on because there's so many extra layers. And then I got my makeup on the bow. It's just, it was a journey. But this is actually really, really cute. I feel like I'm fine with this just normally, but for work, I feel like it'd be a little much. So I'd almost want to like safety pin the bottom side. Like I said, personally I'm okay with it, but I know at work, it wouldn't be okay, um, but I really actually like this. This is definitely a color that's gonna work well in fall though. I don't feel like this is a color I should wear now in summer, <laughs> but I do really, really like it. Yay, we found another winner. Now I have to figure out how to get this off. Okay, so the last top we have is called the Fetching Top in Ivory. Again, 24 2XL. Uh, this one is 34.30, and it is an, whoa, off-the-shoulder white top. It has the elastic at the top. I'm hoping I'm not going to get my makeup all over this trying it on. Um, and then it's got the button, faux button detail all the way down the front with another elastic around the waist. And the arms, at least looking at them from here, look like they're going to be good size. They do have a small elastic in them, so that should help. So let's go ahead and try this shirt on. Okay, so this is the other shirt. I tried to hide my straps, so now my bra is sitting really weird. Um, so like I said, it has the stretchy up here and the stretchy in the middle. If I just put it down where it wants to sit, it's <laughs> really unflattering. Um, if I raise it up higher... It's kind of weird. The back looks cute, but I have these annoying bulges here, so I feel like it's throwing off this stretch part. I don't know. I think this is a really cute top, but again, I think for my body, it's not working. Like I said, I think it looks really cute in the back, but because of these dang bulges, I feel like this scrunchy part could have done without it for my body. I feel like this would look cute on somebody who is smaller who doesn't have these bad boys. But in, on my body, I just feel like it's not flattering. Which sucks, because I actually really like the shirt if it wasn't for these. But the arms feel really good. There's a lot of space here. It's not even really touching. So overall, I feel like if you have either a smaller body or you don't have these things... <laughs> Then I think this shirt would actually look really nice on you because I do really like the shirt. I just don't think it sits right on me. Okay, so the next item are pants. They are called the Beloved Pant in Black. Again, 24 2XL. They retail for $48.30. Um, they are just this really nice big 
legged pant. Um, it has the tie in the front and it looks like, oh, it looks like they have a zipper on the side to get into them. I really like this print of the flower. It's pretty vibrant and nice. I like the colors. I don't know what was coming out of my mouth, but I like the print. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try these on. Okay, so I cannot get these zipped up. So I, they're almost, almost fitting, which sucks because these are really, really cute. The shirt doesn't go with it, but these look really, 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 really cute. I just can't get them all the way up. That is a bummer. Again, no, cooch is pretty far down, so you'd have to wear them pretty high to not have the chub rub. But other than that, they are very, very cute. They're very loose and flowy everywhere else. <sighs> That's a bummer. Okay, and the last item is actually a jump sh jumpsuit. It's called the Sweet Floral Jumpsuit in Black. Again, 24 2XL, and this retails for $69.30. So it is like I just said, a floral jumpsuit. Now, when I looked at this picture online, I felt like it just seemed more vibrant, like the pants we just showed, but these are more kind of muted, the colors are, um, which I'm not hating. I just, I think, God, it keeps falling, it's so long. I think I would have preferred if it was more vibrant, like the last, like the pants we just saw, but it's still really cute. So it's got this deep V, and it's got a zipper down the top half, and then it's just got these flowy pants. And I honestly can't remember where this sits, if it's long or if it's calf. I guess we're about to find out, so let's go try these on. Uh, okay, I'm living for this. Um, normally, my gut looks disgusting in jumpsuits and rompers, so I don't wear them. But somehow this material and the way it sits just kind of like bellows out. So it kind of hides that. Um, I am here alone, <laughs> so I can't get this zipped up on my own. I can't, can't reach it. So definitely would have to have my husband to help. But this is a little loose here, but I'm thinking it's because it's not zipped. It would then be tighter. Uh, it has pockets. Pockets! Oh my gosh. Um, this does... You're not gonna be able to see, but it does stop about here. <laughs> uh, so it is short, it's not pants. I don't think it's meant to be. And then it does kind of like bellow out here on the sleeves. I obviously need to zip this up. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <sighs> I can't believe we found a romper that works. Oh, and it's got this tie. Did I mention that? So that's helping giving this definition. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. My butt looks a little weird, but it's okay. This is so cute. I just love pockets. Well, we definitely found a good one. I'm excited. I might have to go check out their other rompers now. Okay, so that is all I have. That is all the items I got from City Chic. Uh, let me know your thoughts about them. Have you tried them before? Uh, let me know if you want me to try more outfits from them or more clothing, I mean, from them. And also, give me some recommendations of some other places because I have been trying to find new plus-size places to try out. So, if you have any recommendations, let me know down below. But that is all I have for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.